Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6th and subject science in that chapter number 7 getting to know plants. In the previous video part 1 we have seen up to main 3. Today we will see main 4. Mark the following statements with a right if a true and with a wrong mark if a false in the given box against each. One mark each. Number 1. We eat the roots of carrot and radish. So it's a true. Right. Number 2. China rose plant is a herb. Wrong. False. Number 3. The branches of a shrub are generally at a great height from the, from the ground. It's a wrong. False. Number 4. The stem absorbs water and minerals from the ground. It's a wrong. False. Number 5. Stigma is a part of the pistil. It's a right. True. Number 6. Anther is a part of the pistil. It's a wrong. False. Number 7. Sunflower plants are unisexual. It's a wrong. False. Number 8. Roots conduct water to the leaves. It's a wrong. False. Number 9. The number of petals and sepals in a flower is always equal. It's a wrong. False. Number 10. If the petals of a flower are joined together, then the pistil is joined to the petals. It's a wrong. False. Now see the main five. Answer the following questions in a one sentence. One mark each. See the question number one. What type of stems do herbs have? Answer is herbs have green, thin and tender stems and have less branches. Question number two. What type of stems do shrubs have? Answer is the stems of the shrub is hard but not very thick. Question number three. What type of stems do trees have? Answer is, trees have very hard and a thick brown stem. See the question number 4. List the main parts of a plant. Answer is, the main parts of a plant are Number 1, roots. Number 2, stem. Number 3, leaves. And number 4, flowers. Question number 5. Name 4 shrubs. Answer is, number 1, rose. Number 2, lemon plant. Number 3, China Rose. Number 4, Hina. And number 5, Pomegranate. Question number 6. Name 4 creepers. Answer is Bitter God, Indian Bean, Val, Bottle God and a Grape. Question number 7. List 4 plants that have tap roots. Answer is Tulsi, Banyan, Neem, China Rose. Question number 8. List 4 plants that have fibrous roots. Answer is Wheat, Maize, bamboo, sugarcane, coconut, and jowar. Now see the next page. See the question number 9. List 4 plants that have reticulate venations in their leaves. Answer is banyan, neem, mango, people, and tulsi. Question number 10. List 4 plants that have parallel venation in their leaves. Answer is wheat, sugarcane, banana, maize, and a bamboo, etc. Question number 11. Leave the, pa leave, leave the parts of a flower. Number 1. Sepals. 2. Petals. 3. Stamen. 4. Pistil. 5th one. Anther. 6th one. Androsium. And 7th one. Gynosium. Question number 12. Leave the parts of a pistil. The three main parts of a pistil are Number 1. Stigma. Number 2. Style. And number 3. Ovary. Question number 13. Leave the parts of a stamen. Answer is the two main parts of a stamen are number one anther and number two flamed. Now main six define one mark each. Number one shrub. Answer is a plant which is smaller than a tree and has several main stems arising at or near the ground is called the shrub. Number two creeper. Answer is the plant with weak stem that cannot stand upright and spreads on the ground is called a creeper. Number 3. Photosynthesis. Answer is leaves of plants prepare food in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll with the help of water and carbon dioxide. This process is called photosynthesis. Number 4. Transpiration. Answer is the process of giving out water vapor from the stomata of leaves is called transpiration. Number 5. Tap roots. Answer is a primary root that grows vertically downward and small lateral roots spring out from it 
is called tap root number 5 fibrous roots the roots which are formed by thin moderately branching roots growing from the stem are called fibrous roots number 7 parallel venation answer is the arrangement of veins in leaves in which they are parallel to each other is called parallel venation number 8 reticulate venations answer is the arrangement of veins in a leaves in which they form net like structure on both sides of the midrib is called the reticulate venation now see the main seven answer the following questions in a sort two marks each number 1 what are the functions of a leaf answer is the functions of a leaf are as follows leaf leaves help in the interchange of gases they release lot of water into the air through transpiration they prepare the food for the plant by photosynthesis now see the next question now see the question number 2 draw a neat and label diagram of a herb this one is the label diagram of the herb is there in that see here it's the root here is the soil and upper soil it's a stem leaves then it's here is the fruits and here is the flower this you have to mention and draw it now see the question number 3 label the main parts of a leaf in the given figure write about each part in sort see here the leaf is there here leaf is there this part is the lamina this part is the midrib and this is the veins okay and here is the petiole the main parts of a leaf are number 1 petiole and number 2 lamina petiole the part of a leaf by which it is attached to the stem is called petiole and number 2 lamina the broad green part of the leaf is called lamina besides this two a leaf also has veins and a midrib now see the question number 4 what are the functions of a stem answer is the functions of a stem are as follows it keeps the plant upright and provides support leaves flowers and fruits fruits are arranged around the stem in such a manner that they get sunlight the stem conducts water from roots to the leaves and other parts and food from leaves to other parts of the plant question number 5 what are the functions of a root answer is they absorb water and mineral from the soil roots anchor the plant firmly in the soil see the next page see the question number 6 why are leaves of a plant green in color answer is the leaves of a plant do photosynthesis a green colored pigment is called chlorophyll is necessary for this process which is present in the leaves hence leaves are green in color number 7 Lab- label the main parts of a stamen in the given figure and write sort not on each answer is stamen is the male reproductive organ of a flower a flower have more than one stamen it is covered by the petals the two main parts of a stamens are number 1 anther and number 2 filament see here this one is the anther and this one is the filament the sac like top structure of a stamen is called the anther and the long stick like structure on which the anthers rest is called the filament number 8 label the main parts of a pistil in the given figure and write sort note on it see the this one is the stigma stigma this one is the style and this one is the ovary pistil is the female reproductive organ of a flower it's a female reproductive organ it is the innermost part of a flower the three parts of a pistil are stigma style and ovary stigma style and ovary stigma the sticky tip of a pistil on which pollen deposited at the beginning of pollination gets number 2 style it is a long slender stalk that connects the stigma and the ovary stigma and ovary it's connected number 3 ovary this is the thickened lower part of the flower which holds its major organs small bead like see small bead like small bead like particles known as pollen grains are found inside the ovary now we will see the main eight in the next video part 3 stay safe stay healthy okay bye